I'm gonna be replacing the focusing screen in my Yashica Mat 124. So I really love this camera, but the focusing screen is so dim that it is really challenging to uh, nail that focus in, especially when it's not that bright outside. So, and while I'm living in Hamburg, you know, we we don't get much sun here, so it makes it even more difficult. So I just went ahead and ordered this split screen uh, focusing screen uh, from eBay. It is, I don't know, some unknown Chinese, uh, I think it's Seagull uh, company that makes those replacement screens. And I don't really know what to expect. And today I'm gonna be demonstrating uh, the stock focusing screen that comes with uh, Yashica and then I will replace it and demonstrate the difference. I am now in a control lighting environment, so basically uh, we can say that this is kind of a valid test. It's not like I'm doing something on the street and then there is a cloud and then lighting conditions change, so you cannot really judge. So first let me demonstrate you uh, performance of the stock screen in Yashica and for that I have a little scene uh, that I'm going to be focusing on um, and this is really challenging also because the closest uh, distance is just one meter and I will try to nail that focus so you can see something and so as you can see here I have a plant that is kind of decently lit and you cannot really see it clearly in the focusing screen, can you? So let's say this is our starting point and from that I will try to, you know, replace the screen and we'll see if it improves or not. I mean, if it's gonna be sucks, I will just tell you that it sucks and then we will make a decision with you together. So it is really easy to change this focusing screen here. So uh, here you can see we have like four little screws. We just have to unscrew them. And while I'm doing that, I would like not to drain my battery. Uh, so here is the the screen and as you can see it doesn't have any like split screen almost no assistance and here is my new screen that hopefully will will fit because you know it could be different because I think the the new one is for Yachika Matt uh, type G and I just have like a just Yashica mat so hope they not that different so what do we see here you will have a springs I think if I press them a little ah okay I got it I think I will just move it while pressing it okay, that worked So I did some testing and measurement of camera. I'm not really sure that I like these rings. You will see them on my test, but the screen is uh, much brighter and I really like the split screen mechanism. It really helps to nail that focus really, really fast, especially in a, uh, in a difficult lighting conditions. So I decided to uh, give it a try. Uh, the one thing is that as you can see here um, this radius is like much smaller than this one so uh, I just have to cut it a little bit uh, lucky me this is a plastic uh, that one is a 
real piece of ground glass. I will keep it really like carefully. Um, so yeah, so I will just align these two uh, pieces and like try at least to cut off uh, these extra uh, parts in here. It should go off pretty easy, so I will just mark it. Okay, that like went off, and this part. So of course, after doing this, I cannot return it, but I mean, it cost me like twenty five bucks, so. I don't really care. I decided to give it a try. Uh, there is a, a, a better supplier for a replacement glass, but uh, like one uh, one piece cost like eighty six bucks uh, and this is not the uh, like a budget I would like to you know to spend on a on a glass I would rather than sell the camera and buy the other one because camera cost not that much um, so yeah now I just have to align it push it a little bit. and make sure that it is actually centered because if if not then this rings from the Fresnel lens will be off center which is not really cool uh, right here so as you can see I just put them down there then press it and move So, um, yeah, time for a, a little test. Let's put it back on the camera. Okay, uh, and do the test. I'm pretty sure you can see that it's much, much brighter. So, even on my Sony 5100 camera, I can notice a difference on my little LCD screen. Um, yeah, that should be in focus now. So, and uh, especially this small split screen mechanism really helps. I mean, I'm not sure that you can see it like right now, but I tested it. It works really well. So I will give it a try at least. Uh, I'm not a fan of those rings. I am pretty sure you can see them. So yes, guys, I will give it a try. I will uh, post the result of my test. I will uh, keep the original one. Uh, here in the back in case I don't like the, the, the new one or I want to sell the camera. Uh, it, it is always better to keep the original parts. So yeah and I mean I hope you could see the difference uh, between two screens so you you can make your own decision whether you like uh, uh, the split screen one better or the original one better but I, I think it's really like a matter of taste and I really prefer a, a little bit of assistance uh, especially that my vision is not that good so uh, yeah guys um, thanks for watching and as usual keep shooting till the last roll